Alright, while it is a rare occurrence, I have been known to get up early. <laughs> it is just after six in the morning. Travelers, I'm Anne's daughter Lenko here at Siguria. Holy heck, the queuing to get a ticket was mental, mental. Thankfully, my tuk tuk driver spotted a friend, gave him my 5520 to get in, or it says on here US $30, which is a fair bit. Anyway, so it's about half past nine in the morning. I could have easily spent like 40 something minutes in that queue. So, yeah. Alright, let's head up. I'm so unfit. So, if you are coming by yourself like me, then it's been fairly fine. I do believe that there is nowhere now that I'm in here to get water. So, I hope I have enough. <laughs> I took a tuk tuk from Candy, so we left off at 6 o'clock this morning and stopped in Dambiola to have some breakfast. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I'm barely any way up and I'm sweating like a stuck pig. <laughs> and I'm just taking my sweet time. It's actually quite nice. So there are flat bits here, landings in between more steep stairs. If you're a moderately fit person, you'll be right. I, however, am not. Damn you, China. Plus, I feel like the pollution is lifting off my lungs. <laughs> or any other internal organs it might be stuck to. few steps to the top. I won't lie, I'm shattered. <laughs> Bring water. After the, the lion's feet, it gets pretty windy. So that's nice because I can feel the breeze. But yeah, I'm surprised that the temperature drops too quickly. the 1200s <laughs> in the middle of the king's bedroom all right if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as i post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences you may get asked if you would like a guide uh, I can see this is a pool. Was. I can see from the signs that was the palace. So you could easily spend a fair bit of time here, just chilling, taking it, taking in the view. You could bring a picnic up and sit and have some lunch. That would be a really nice idea. Otherwise, it's just trying to capture that spot out of the other way of the tourists. Uh. Easier than the bridal path, but still, I'm so unfit. I really do 
feel a sense of accomplishment. I can't believe I climbed that thing. There are plenty of places on the way up where you can sort of pause, even though there is a queue of people potentially behind you. There's also going to be a queue in front, so taking a wee breather isn't a problem. There's one part on the way up through like a spiral staircase where you can't take any photos or videos and it's of like ancient um, cave drawings of women with a great set of boobs. That's all I have to say. Holy. Back then they must have had wonderful boobs. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, sadly, can't take any pictures inside the air, but it's nice to appreciate. I see it's a donation, so yay, there's no fee. Stairs. So you can easily fit this in in one day if you do Sagria early, because then it's cooler. And then pop up the road to here. You can even have lunch on the way. Okay, so yet again I'm failing because the sign is, is horrible and I don't know where the hell, how much further. I actually don't want to climb any more stairs. So all I can see is stairs and I'm kind of done with it. And there's no one to bloody well ask, so... Mm, that's lovely. I just can't be stuffed. <laughs> 